I don't want to say that I, I felt that this was inevitable all along because I was one of those people that thought and still do think that this can be a viable NHL market. And I think the NHL feels that way as well. I mean, there are certain hurdles that uh, that need to be uh, be jumped over to get there. Um, but I, I never thought that it was going to get to this point. Although after the Tempe vote went the wrong way, I kind of said, uh oh, and a lot of things changed. Certainly that's that's how I felt. And that was the vibe that I got uh, from a lot of people that I talked to, but maybe just call me foolish or calling me naive. Uh, I always thought that uh, hockey could work in Arizona. I still do think that that's the case. I look at Arizona and I say, this could be a very desirable place for players to play, provided that there was a stable situation and a, listen, a, a rink uh, of, of NHL caliber. Um, you know, the, the presence of Mullet Arena optically was a challenge for the NHL. The Tempe vote was a disaster for this organization. And as we look back on it now, perhaps it was this this march to this inevitability that once the Tempe vote went south, that was the beginning of the end for, for the Arizona Coyotes. <laughs>